Just fill in the blanks for us. How do you feel about the numbers you reported? Yeah, good, good morning. Um, you know, despite the uh, very extraordinary year, we're, we're pleased with where we uh, landed uh, for 2020. Uh, you know, first and foremost, I think our employees rallied uh, uh, like I've never seen before in terms of being able to uh, uh, stay safe, but also very importantly, uh, pivot and provide a lot of COVID-related solutions to our customers. So if you look at the the metrics that we're really focused on is that recurring revenues, because we're largely a subscription business, we're up 4% and digital and services up 4%. And so today, 91% uh, of our revenues are digital. So while print was very hard hit uh, by the pandemic, you know, today, as I said, we're largely a digital business and the business is proving to be resilient. Uh, so we're well positioned, you know, across the board in each of the sectors that we serve uh, in terms of our product portfolio and in terms of the investments that we're making in our in our digital products. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you had to have a business model for a pandemic, then it would probably look something like one that would allow you to continue operating largely uh, online and digitally. Let me ask you then, as we look to 2021 and the reopening of economies, how do you then leverage off this model to capitalise on any pickup in economic activity and corporate activity? Yeah, so what we have seen throughout 2020 and now into 2021 is the trends that were already present in the market have just become more accelerated. So for us, that means that all of our customers are focused on digital. And again, we're a leader in cloud-based uh, services in the sectors, and so cloud is very uh, much a focus of our customers. And so uh, what we've done is we've preserved all of our product investments. We reinvest 8 to 10 percent of our revenues back in new products, and we're accelerating some of our investments uh, into cloud. So as we come out of uh, the pandemic, and for us, that means customers begin to spend more money on new products and services. Uh, we think it's going to be largely around, again, digital products, particularly our expert solutions, which are largely cloud-based services and products.